Hey guys, it's me, Mario. And today we're going to continue Beast Quest. Arachnid, the King of Spiders. It's been a while. It's been about a month or so. I took a little bit of an unannounced break. <sighs> Don't worry, I wasn't sick or anything. I was just, you know, taking a little break from YouTube. At least with the video making part. I'm fine. <laughs> <coughs> Let's continue with chapter three. Spider in the night. <clears throat> My shirt is a little too tight. <clears throat> Come on, Elena said, gently pacing, uh, placing a hand on Tanza's shoulder. We need a good night's sleep if we're going to tackle Arachnid tomorrow. Tom fetched Storm from his tethering post. They followed Dorina, Dorina to her house. In a side of the street near the marketplace, Tom settled Storm in Dorina's stable. Then followed Elena and Silver to, into the house. The air inside smelled like beeswax and, le and lavender. The furniture looked well polished and the windows gleamed. I hope you will be comfortable, said Dorina, sewing Tom into her spare room at the back of the house. Two fat hay-filled mattresses sat on the win wooden beds. Scenting the room with a clean, grassy smell. The view from the window was of the small yard, yard and stables below. Everything was shrouded in darkness. I could, I could sleep for, for a week. Elena, Elena groaned. <coughs> Sloping onto one of the mattresses. Silver curled up underneath the bed and settled his silvery head on his paws. There will be supper on the table later, said Dorina. If you wish, if you wish it. She bowed her head and left the room, softly shutting the door behind her. Something about Dorina's story worried Tom. After fighting ten beasts, his instincts were st starting to tell him when things weren't right. Do you think Arachnid has gone, has got Dorina's friend? He asked, kicking off his boots and sitting down on his mattress. Elena looked surprised. The spider is supposed to live in the forest high up in the mountainside, she said. Not in the caves near town. Dorina said that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Dorina said that there was a rock fall. Don't you think her friend is dead? I have a feeling that Arachnid is closer than every. One thinks, said Tom grimly. Remember what Dorina said about the webs in the town and the way that the food disappear, disappears every, uh, every night. And yet no one ever sees the spider. 
It's a long way down to the town uh, from the mountaintops. Isn't it more likely, likely that the spider has moved closer to his source of food and set up home in the nearby caves? Elena looked uneasy. You may be right, she said. Tom thumped his hand on on the mattress. We have to find Arachnid, he said. We have to defeat him and rescue Dorina's friend before it's too late. Hmm, said Elena sleepily. Her eyes were fluttering and closing. Tom wanted to go straight to the caves, but watching Elena, he remembered how little they have slept in the past few days. She was already breathing peacefully. Curled up on her soft hay mattress, it wasn't far, it wasn't fair to drag her out into the night. Not now, at least. <coughs> Tom felt too tense to sleep. Instead, he settled down and settled down beside the window. He would keep watch if the spider came in the night. Tom could be the first to know. Tom woke suddenly. His neck was stiff. His arms wrapped around his knees. With dismay, with dismay, he realized that he had fallen asleep on the floor by the window. The weak moon shone into the room, filling it with a soft, misty glow. Everything was still and silent, but Silver was growling softly, his eyes bright in the moonlight. Tom glanced at Elena, still fast asleep. Then he saw a pulsing light coming from the saddlebag on the floor. Tom stood up s stiffly and reached for his bag. He pulled out the magical map and the red path showing them the way to the mountain's side. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I have to read that sentence again. The red path showing them the way to the mountains seemed to be glow glowing with extra urgency. They were running out of time. Sulu was still growling. His body was tense, ready to spring. Shh, boy. Shush, boy, Tom whispered. Then he noticed something strange about the moonlight. It was as if the moon was shining through the veil of through a veil of some kind. With a shiver of disgust, he saw that a thick spider's web had been woven across the window. With a mounting sense of horror, Tom gazed around the room, swiveling slowly to take it all in. Every surface was covered with a ghost Guzzy webs. He backed slowly away from the window and found himself entangled in a prison of clammy silken, silken threads. Ah! Tom yelled in shock, slashing out, lashing out. Elena sat up in bed, startled by Tom's yell. Yuck, she exclaimed, tearing at the thick, sticky robes that twisted over her seats and blankets. Arachnid has been here, Tom said, urgent 
be pulling on the four pieces of golden armor. In his room with with us oh in his in this room with us, Elena. There is no time to waste. We have to leave for the mountains at, at once. He showed Elena the map, wide awake, wide awake now. Elena pushed her way through the sticky webs surrounding her bed. This is awful, she whispered, her face pale. We have to do something. The floor was tacky under underfoot. Tom grimaced in disgust as he reached for the lamp beside his bed and lit the wick. Quietly, they tiptoed out of the bedroom, with silver padding silently beside them. There was no light shining beneath Doriana's door as they crept past. Webs hung from the polished banisters and and formed thick curtains over the walls. There was something beautiful about the way they twisted and spiraled, glistening softly in the lamplight. And yet something deadly, too. They brushed at Tabs's cheeks at, as he and Lamana hurried down the stairs. I'll leave some money and thanks, said Elena in a low voice. I don't want Dorina to think that we left in the night like thieves. She took two candles from the pantry and left a small pile of coins. At least the town's people are still asleep, Tom whispered to Elena as they led Storm out of his sat of out of his stable. No one needs to know about our quest. We can leave the town and climb the mountains by daybreak. Just then a hand grasped his shoulder. Tom cried out. <coughs> I need to drink real quick. What are you doing? Dorina asked, her voice, her eyes wide and frightened as she pulled a thick woolen blanket around her shoulders to ward off the night chill. There are... Where are you going? We have urgent business, Helena said. The spider came in the night, Dorina whispered. You saw its webs. We we are all lost unless you find it and kill it. Tom gasped. How did she know about their quest? You are going to find it, aren't you? Dorina said it to Tom. Her eyes were huge in the moonlight. I watched you t I watched you in town square today. <laughs> You were looking for something. You are not ordinary tra travelers. I can see that by your armor. Please tell me. I must know. Tom had to tell the truth. We are, he said. We think it's in the caves, but swear that you will tell no one. I swear, Doreena said fiercely. The tunnel Ida used is blocked now, but there is another entrance to the caves further up the mountain. The path is dangerous, but keep your back to the mountainside, and you will make it. And take this, it will help you. She pushed something cold and hard into Tom's hand. It was a shard of glittering blue crystal. Go, she said. 
backing away and backing away. And may the beasts of event here be with you. And that was chapter three. Where's, uh, here it is. <laughs> Got the bookmark. Well, <laughs> and that was Spider in the Night, right? I have to look. Yeah, Spider in the Night, Chapter 3. <coughs> well, hope you guys enjoyed my read through. <laughs> Hope everyone is glad that I'm making these again. I'll be starting a new series soon as well. I don't know when, but I'm thinking about a new series already, so... It's about Dragania's lore and history. Hope everyone is excited about that. <laughs> well, I hope you like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you're interested in that. And I'll be reading more Beast Quest to you guys as well. <laughs> well, bye guys. <laughs> See you in the next one. <laughs>